Maine and neighbors are still angry. Nearly a week after a large tree limb fell on a woman in a DC park, killing her. Now the district's forestry division is getting ready to remove half a dozen trees after inspecting every tree in Garfield Park one by one. 7 News reporter Rebecca Turco is joining us now live from that park. Uh, Rebecca, there's a growing memorial there, isn't there? People have been placing flowers on this stump here really over the past few days. Neighbors we've been talking with say they just want answers here. Flowers lovingly placed on the stump of a tree knocked down last week after a limb fell on a woman killing her. It's sad that it happened in the first place. Workers for DDOT's Urban Forestry Division inspected every tree in Garfield Park last Thursday, the day after 35-year-old Sarah Noah died. They found most of the trees in good or excellent condition. We're told six of them were labeled dead. Officials say the dead trees haven't been deemed hazardous. They're just no longer growing, so they'll be scheduled to come down in the next few weeks. At a meeting with neighbors and other concerned people last night, officials reiterated how unexpected this has been. Even with that tree having fallen apart, there were there was no single uh, defect or um, characteristic that led us to say, ah, well, look at that, of course. But something about that fallen tree stuck out to certified arborist Chris O'Dell. When we asked him to the park for his take last week, he was too busy dealing with storm cleanup in Virginia to head back to Garfield today. So we met with him at another park. Where these two pieces meet here, water is allowed to pool in this cavity here and start to rot down in this section. Chris says that's the V pattern he saw hints of from his quick inspection of the fallen tree. He believes the dry weather we've been having also played a factor. As dry as it's been, everything's getting more and more brittle. Back at Garfield Park. I think everyone just feels numb about it. Neighbors like Anna Weinstein want to honor Sarah Noah's legacy. She's encouraging DDOT to replenish the trees being torn down and take the drier weather into account when it comes to their tree maintenance. I hope that there's real thought and planning going into how to maintain the beautiful tree lined parks that we have. Now we're told most of the trees in this park here have been deemed by DDOT to be in excellent or good condition. And I'm told that those that have been labeled in poor condition, a game plan will be made for those coming up in the next few weeks. For now, reporting live in Southeast, Rebecca Turco, 7 News.